Hello there, this is Don Current with Shelbyville Today, coming to you from the studios of Shelbyville Today. Uh, it is the first weekend of November 2015, although it doesn't really feel like it. It's been in the 70s uh, this week, so it hasn't exactly felt very fall-like. However, the uh, early darkness kind of makes it seem a little more fall-like. Um, and it looks like we're kind of in for a little bit cooler temperatures this weekend, but uh, not altogether bad. Um, rain's moving in Thursday, Friday, but then uh, they're saying that we should have a fairly dry weekend, but in the 50s, which is a little more reasonable uh, for November, um, but still probably a little on the warm side for November. Um, anyway, let's uh, jump into the events for the weekend. Um, kind of a quiet weekend as far as uh, things go, but um, we do have a uh, a few events. So um, on Friday, November 6th at 5 p.m., it is Southwestern's uh, Lady Spartan Pink Night. And so it's a pink out game in um, as a fundraiser for the Cancer Association. There will be a dinner and silent auction and things like that um, prior to the game, uh, the actual pink out game with the Lady Spartans. So uh, again, that's at Southwestern um, at 5 o'clock on Friday. Looking at Saturday, it is the uh, annual Delta Theta Tau uh, Gift and Hobby Show. This is their 43rd annual show. They fill up the um, Shelbyville Middle School with vendors. Um, you can get any kind of gifts and things there that you want. Um, it is, it's a packed house all day um, at the Shelbyville Middle School, so get out there and uh, get some of your shopping done. Uh, find lots of handmade goods, you know, good quality stuff. Um, stuff that's made here locally or, you know, not necessarily Shelby County, but um, not stuff you're buying in China either. So uh, good stuff there. Make sure you check that out. Also, the Animal Shelter is having their grand opening of their new facility. I don't know if you've ever been out there before, but um, they do have some nice overall facilities. They've got some trails there that you can take the dogs for walks on. They've got um, several um, enclosed pens um, that you can take dogs into and play with and things. Uh, it's really a nice facility, and now they've got a really nice building to add to that, and that's what they're doing the uh, grand opening ribbon cutting for. Um, they're just going to have lots of different attractions and uh, recognition ceremonies and dedications of the new facilities, so uh, go over there and check that out. It's a great, great new facility, and like I said, there's always been a lot of great uh, things there, too, with the trails and such to play with the animals and um, maybe adopt and take home a pet, uh, too. It's a good way to get a pet. Um, also, there is a chili lunch at Rural King to benefit the Cancer Association, For so go over there um, and get some lunch. It starts at 10 o'clock, and we'll keep going until they run out of food, so... Go get some chili and support our Cancer Association of Shelby County. They do a lot of great stuff um, for families that have a lot of needs um, when they're dealing with cancer. Another fundraiser, it's the Good News Walk. It will start at Crossroad Community Church, and this is a benefit for um, the after-school programs, the Good News Club programs uh, that they hold at several of our local schools uh, throughout the county, really, um, at the elementary schools, after-school programs for kids. So. Great programs there. You can go to that walk, and uh, it's a two-and-a-half-mile walk to support the work of uh, the Good News Clubs. And um, finally, on Saturday night, it is the annual Dancing with the Shelby County Stars. Uh, you had a sneak peek uh, a couple weeks ago um, at October 23rd at the Strand Theater. and um, But this is the main event, the main attraction at the Indiana Grand Racing and Casino, and uh, if you don't have tickets for it, well, unless you know somebody, you're not going because it has been sold out from early on. This is a really well-attended benefit. You get to see lots of local um, celebrities up there dancing with their uh, professional partners or at least semi-professional partners. Uh, so a good time is usually had by all. Um, so if you've got tickets for that, it's the Indiana Grand on Saturday evening. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until next year's committee uh, group and um, check them out next year at either the sneak peek or the main event for 2016. All right, well, that's what I've got for this week. Um, have, a, have a good weekend. Enjoy some of the, the uh, activities. Go check out the animals. Get some gifts for Christmas. Get that Christmas shopping done. And uh, just enjoy your weekend. We will see you again soon. Thanks.